study one of the important sorting methods in data structures known as insertion sort. Insertion sort before we start with, let's start what is sorting. Sorting always maintains two zones in the array that is one which is to be sorted and another which is unsorted. At the beginning the sorted zone consists of one element, the first element of the array that we are sorting. On each step the algorithms expand the sorted zone by one element inserting the first element from the unsorted zone in the proper place in the sorted zone and shifting all larger elements one slot down. This is the normal procedure for sorting any array or elements which are to be arranged in ascending or descending order. Now let's see how the insertion sort works. So if we have an original list which says 25, 86, 56, 13 and 45. We need to arrange them from smaller to the larger elements in the data structures implementing insertion sort. Let's see how it works. We first start comparing the first element with the rest of the elements in the array. So when we start comparing what happens is if you see when I compare 25 with 86 25 is less than 86 so there's no exchange that happens over here then j is incremented or from 86 I increment my counter to 56 I compare 25 with 56 so there will not be any exchange as I'm arranging the elements from the smaller to the largest elements now my pointer is at 13 so 25 and 13 yes 25 is more than 13 so 13 needs to take the place over here but using insertion sort we do not swap the elements directly we need to do is the element 13 should move to the location of 25 and 56 should move to the location of 13 86 to the position of 56 and 25 to the location of 86 so this is how the transfer of data should take place after I have transferred the data that is from the location J the elements move to I and rest all as the arrows are shown then after the first iteration or the pass one my elements become 13, 25, 86, 56 and 45 we say that 13 has got its location fixed because if I is here and J is incremented to 45 13 is less than 45 so the location of 13 is fixed now this becomes an input to the pass 2 of insertion sort so this is my second iteration which starts so i is incremented by 1 so i becomes at 25 so 25 is compared with 86 as 25 is less than 86 no exchange happens or no insertion sort is implemented 25 with 56 25 is less than 56 so no exchange of data happens over here 25 is less than 45 again so no sorting of data happens over here so the 25 gets at a proper position now we consider the number 25 as we traverse the list 25 is at a position which is already sorted so after the second iteration the final list becomes 13 25 86 56 and 45 this becomes an input to the third iteration and now my i is at a location of 86 so 86 as compared with 56 as you see these are two consecutive elements next to each other so this will look like a simple swap but we implement not the simple swap but from j to i it will be shifted so 56 and 45 yes 56 is greater than 45 so there will be an exchange or there will be an insertion sort implemented over here and the elements become like this 45 moves to the location of 56 86 to 45 and 56 to 86 and after the third iteration my elements become 13 25 45 56 and 86 at the fourth iteration i is 56 j is 86 as 56 is less than 86 so the final list after the fourth iteration is 13 25 45 56 and 86 and fifth iteration as 86 being the last element of the array is automatically sorted so using insertion sort this is how we implement and sort the elements 
So the fifth iteration gives us a sorting list 13, 25, 45, 56 and 86. If you observe, if there are five elements in the list, we need 5 minus 1, that is 4 iterations. So to generalize, if there are n elements in the list, we need n minus 1 passes to arrange the insertion sort elements. Let's see the implementation of insertion sort. Here, i is equal to 0, i less than equal to 10, this is for 10 elements, but we've taken an example of 5, so I will put it as 5 over here in both the cases. So for i is equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. For j is equal to i plus 1, j less than equal to 5, j plus plus. If a of i is greater than a of j, but in this case, if we see for 25 to 86, nothing will happen, it will come out of the loop. 25 with 56, again nothing will happen, it will come out of the loop. When it comes to 25 and 13, this loop will be executed. So we say temp is equal to a of j. When I say temp is equal to a of j, the number 13 will move to temp over here. While j is not equal to i, that is not the value inside, but the index value of j and index value of i is not same. We say a of j is equal to a of j minus 1. So at present my j is here. And when I say a of j is equal to a of j minus 1, so 56 will move to the location of 13 and we say j minus minus so now my j will be here while j is not equal to i so j is here i is here so j is still not equal to i a of j is equal to a of j minus 1 so 86 will move to the location here again j minus minus so my j is here a j is still not equal to i so a of j is equal to a of j minus 1 so 25 moves to the location here and j minus minus now here j is equal to i because now j is also here we come out of the while loop a of i is equal to temp temp had the value 13 so now this position gets the value 13 it is end of f end of j and end of i this is how my insertion sort will be actually implemented the advantages of insertion sort the insertion sort repeatedly scans the list of items each time inserting the item in the unordered sequence into its correct position. The main advantage of the insertion sort is its simplicity. It also exhibits a good performance while dealing with a small list. The insertion sort is an in-place sorting algorithm so that space requirement is minimal. The disadvantage of insertion sort the disadvantage of insertion sort is that it does not perform as well as others better sorting algorithms as it requires a lot of movement of elements which takes a lot of time. With n squared steps required for every n elements to be sorted, the insertion sort does not deal well with huge list. Therefore, the insertion sort is particularly useful only when sorting a list of few items. The time complexity it's given over here the best case the average case is theta n square the worst case is big O n square and the space complexity is big O 1 so the time complexity increases if my list is a large list thank you